what's going on aces welcome back to the channel i hope that all of you are having an amazing weekend this is the love and marriage huntsville recap season six so 22 not about to kiki and ha ha right because there is nothing funny about what is going on with the situation right some would say i found it entertaining not necessarily funny but definitely entertaining this season the second half of the season is definitely bringing heat and whatever um kiki is getting paid she definitely needs to negotiate a raise for next season okay because she is definitely carrying this entire second half on her back so this episode picks up right where the last one left off you guys know that the last episode you know tisha pretty much curved her cousin kiki kiki went in for a hug at the cookout that maurice and kimmy uh, are throwing and for whatever reason, you know, Tisha curved her. I can't even say for whatever reason because they've had beef for a while. But, um, you know, she went in for a hug. Tisha did hug, hug uh, Kiki's husband, Amin. But then she curved Kiki. Now, most people, myself included, would have just been like, okay, I'm going to match your energy. You know, like, it is what it is. Um, but... This really upset Kiki, okay? So she was like taking the cards out of Stormy's hand and flicking them at Tisha. And then when that didn't get a reaction, she flung her whole drink on Tisha, okay? So then, um, you know, it escalates and Marceau's like, you know, you need to drug test her and, you know, it's drugs and blah, 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 blah. So basically, Amin steps in and gets in front of his wife. And he's pretty much going after Marceau, who's like backing up, backing up, you know, because I mean that he's definitely a bigger man and <laughs> Marceau did not want that smoke. OK, so after it, um, you know, Amin and, and Kiki leave the party, they're pretty much escorted out right after her throwing her drink on Tisha. Melody goes outside to pretty much produce the scene, right, to produce the moment as well as check on Kiki and, and calm her down. And Story, Stormy goes with her. So Stormy and Mel are talking with Kiki outside and you know, Melody is pretty much saying the same thing. Like, did Tisha physically accost you or did she say something to provoke you? And Kiki's like, no, she just didn't appreciate being ignored, which I mean, you know, both of the women are in their forties. I wouldn't necessarily care, but that's me. Um, Kiki felt that it was really disrespectful. And so, um, you know, she threw her drink on her. Now, Marcel and Tisha are relating it back to her past issues with substance abuse. People are speculating. Melody is going to, you know, at the end of the episode, um, come to her own conclusions and try to, you know, define whether that's the case or not. But we'll get there. So in the meantime and in between time, Tiffany shows up with baby Ace and during her confessional, she's saying that, you know, baby Ace is her date, her plus one, because her husband is on the road working. And as he told her, which, and I'm, and I'm sure that Tiffany has probably seen the social media comments, but this was, you know, the issue last, last season he kept asking her to be sure that, you know, um, this is what she wanted to do, have another child, because he knew he was going to be away from her. So anyway, her, you know, saying that, oh, well, this is, you know, my plus one because my husband's always working. OK, well, you knew <laughs> you knew that, like you knew that he was going to get a job with, um, you know, baseball. This is his dream job. He has to be traveling, you know, with his team. That I mean, he he told you that, okay, before Ace was even conceived. But anyway, moving on, what I did love about this episode was that this is where Maurice, um, you know, had Kiki's son, Jalen, drive up and surprise Kiki with the Jeep. But she's like, oh, that's mine, that's mine. You know, she hopped up and she was so excited and her best friend was there and, you know, they drive off of the lawn and, um, you know, she's like kissing her husband in the confessional. So th this is nice. This is a nice change of pace <laughs> for Kiki and Maurice because what usually happens is Maurice says something or does something that is um, horrific 
and sexist and misogynistic and he's embarrassing his wife all up and down these YouTube and social media streets. So it is nice to see that he has, you know, got it right. Um, that he got the car that she wanted or the Jeep that she wanted and um, Kiki and her friend go and take it for a, te a test drive. So I was really glad to see her so joyful because um, that's, like I said, a, a nice break from the usual with those two. Okay, so here we have Marceau pretty much convening with everybody. We see, you know, the Fletchers have shown up. There's Nell and Chris, you know, Jalen's at the table with... Maurice, Kimmy, you know, the friends, all, the, you know, Stormy, there's Mel and um, Martel. So Marcel is basically saying, you know, raise your hand if you've been there for Kiki, you know, at two o'clock in the morning and pulling her off the side of the road when she was in the throes of her addiction. You know, we were there when her mom wasn't there, so on and so forth, right? And I get it, like they're frustrated. <clears throat> and he's just conveying that frustration, you know, to everybody at the cookout. Um, I think there's a lot more hurt there than than there is anger, both with Marceau and Tisha. You know, Tisha says in her confessional that nobody can hurt you like family. And she and her and Marceau have decided that they're going to, you know, put up boundaries and not necessarily be as close with Kiki as they once were. So that she can't hurt them like that again. So and which is understandable, right? When someone throws a drink on you and, you know, acts that irrationally, I can understand that. I would love to see them maybe get with a counselor, Dr. Francis or a therapist and try to, you know, work through that. But there has to be some kind of healing there first. So I get that. Um, then the guys meet up at the gym and, you know, Amin is, um, you know, trying to, they're all trying to, you know, uh, get in shape and work out. Courtney's there as well. And um, I'm sorry, not I mean, but Courtney, um, Stormy's husband. And Courtney and Martel and um, and Chris, you know, Chris is again <laughs> embarrassing Martel because he's like, I don't care where Martel goes, but he has got to get out of this house. He's like, are you going to move to Atlanta? Is it going to be in Chateau Charest? He's like, wherever it is, you need to go. And Martel is um, being Martel, right? He's deflecting, but he's also um, agreed to try to help Courtney get into shape. And that's one thing that I can say, I really wish Martel would focus more so on um, a business that would be in the fitness industry that he knows, you know, he has experience in that area. I don't understand why he doesn't, you know, maybe him and Sheree, I know that they've quote unquote broken up. Their relationship wasn't really, but they could be business partners, right? Like they could create some kind of um, fitness video or YouTube channel or merchandise, um, not joggers, but something, you know, some athletic wear that could, you know, focus on exercise since they're both in the fitness. But that's, you know, I don't know. I hope maybe if they listen to enough videos that somebody could put that bug in their ear because that could be lucrative for both of them. But anyway, we're going to go to the last um, scene of the show, which is really like where the bombshell, right, is. So Amin and Kiki are moving um, into a new house and Melody shows up and they're like, you know, are you going to help us move? You know, because she has on her athletic wear, like a hat, t-shirt, and, you know, she has on tennis shoes and stuff and leggings. And, um, you know, Mel's just like laughing and, you know, she's like, I mean, I could. <laughs> but she says she came there to check on Kiki to make sure she's okay. And Kiki is saying, you know, that um, Tisha never liked her husband, even when they were dating. And Mel's like, oh, well, you know, Tisha told me the exact opposite that, you know, she liked, I mean, and they're like, no. He's like, no, <laughs> she never liked me. Um, but they were just, you know, Kiki was, again, conveying her hurt and her side of the situation to Melody um, at the cookout and what happened. And Kiki says that while she doesn't regret um, the situation and her separation from Tisha and Marceau, um, because she did feel disrespected, she said that she regrets what she did as far as, you know, tossing her drink on her cousin. 
which I appreciate um, her saying that. And I'm sure Atisha does too, if they do reconcile later on down the line. But the bombshell is Tisha, or I'm sorry, Melody saying, okay, well, people are, you know, attributing your behavior to not necessarily feeling disrespected, but they're saying that you're, you know, um, you've regressed in your sobriety and going back to using substances that you were before. And Kiki's like, no, absolutely not. And so <laughs> Melody's like, okay, well, let's prove them wrong. Why don't you take a drug test? And I have one right here, <sighs> bombshell, right? She's like, I brought a test with me. And so Kiki's like, you guys, the next um, episode, she's like, well, if I'm gonna take a drug test, then I want Marceau to take um, a lie detector test. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. So it's another to be continued, but I do. I appreciate um, this episode and this, like I said, second half of the season. Carlos King is in his bag with and Melody because she is definitely in her producer role this season. Okay. She's definitely out of the way. She pops in to produce a scene and pops right back out. And I don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I'm like, y'all need to give Kiki a raise, okay, in a full-time um, spot because she hasn't been carrying this season on her back. But anyway, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think that Kiki has regressed in her sobriety? Or do you think that she tossed the, the drink on Tisha because she felt really disrespected? I want to hear from you guys. Please be sure to like the video. It's a free way to support the channel. It shakes the algorithm up. Let everybody know that we are here. And please be sure to share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you later. Have a great Sunday, Aces. Bye.